Hey, what's up, everybody? As you guys know, I'm, you know, super pumped about Micro OS Desktop and the potential it provides. So, uh, in my last video, uh, I got some feedback from someone who told me about Atoms. Now, I don't, I'm not crazy about the name because if you do Atom, you get so many different things coming up. Especially this text editor, which. I usually think of when I hear of Adam as an app, but aside from that, Adam allows you to easily manage Linux uh, containers and crew environments. Um, and as some of you may or may not know, I did a uh, a demo of a visual, like a front end, of what managing containers via a GUI can look like. And there's a lot of overlap here in terms of the front end, about what, how the layout is and the vision of that. So um, just to give you an idea what that looks like, this is a toolboxy or distro boxy. This is a code name, pet name I'm having for this, but basically this would be the landing page you know, add, um, add a new toolbox, add a custom registry source because you can get official, um, container images from like Fedora or you get some community ones. Um, so yeah, so that's, that was kind of the idea. Then you have your, uh, toolbox launcher when you, Pretty much gives you the icon of what the container is and also some updates on it like oh, not updates but like uh, the version of it if you want to update it and if you want to do custom color code for like the terminals and um, you know the icon outline because as uh, you guys saw from my other video I did audacity and instead of having audacity having two icons of audacity if you do have two versions of the same app from different containers your host local and plus your container version that can be kind of confusing so if you want to make it even more visually distinctive we you could do some color coding adjustments um, so and then you can migrate images import export so here's what a toolbox downloader will look like. You kind of select a version, have a drop down, pick the one that you want. And then here's a kicker here for me is the app library, where you just a short, uh, small place where you can see all the apps from all the uh, hosts in one go. Um, and it kind of, so it gives you the app, but it also gives you the app placement. So. Uh, ideally for this section it could be like an export button here or a menu integration button you click on the menu integration and then it will just be on your no menu uh, launcher so that was kind of my idea for like what it can look like this has a very similar take so let's take a look at it and see what it looks like So it calls it Atoms. Um, I think it's cute. I think it's good when when people have like a theme. I'm just kind of in my job. I'm kind of we do applications for customers, and I'm just kind of over with the cute names and themes. So you just tell me what it is, so I don't have to like learn another definition. But that's just me being taxed and what my day job. Um, so I'm gonna create a new container environment essentially. And I'm going to call this Fedora 36 because that's what I'm going to do. Can't really change the atom type, looks like, because I have to, I have to uh, change the setting here. But I'm going to go boom. Fedora, I can't change the release because it looks like it's sourcing it from Fedora. Uh, for just, it's just giving you one option. I'm going to create this. Now... Uh, there is something where you can change the type, but I'll show that a little bit later. And to me, 
just to avoid user error. I will, it'll be cool to see this as like a type ahead and it'll automatically select these for you just to avoid potential user error. If you type the wrong thing and then you drop down and select the wrong thing by accident and you're confused for a second, like, why is this not working? It's not, oh wait, it's not for Dora. Uh, so yeah, so I like locking down the user and uh, inter user experience, uh, whenever possible to make it uh, less prone to user error. And then after you create it, then you can customize it. That's just me. So this is cool as a download um, display, giving you kind of like a play by play what's going on, which is nice. I would love to see like that kind of like with GW has like you can press that carrot or show more and has a console display that shows you what's going on. Um, that'll be nice here. I like to, I like to see what's going on, especially where this where it's being sourced from. I like to see where this container image is coming from. So now it's Adam created. And I click on here. I can browse files using my file manager. Here's some of the details for door 36. I can rename it if I wanted to. All right. Bindings. If I want to kind of give it further I can think of it. I think this is kind of like flat seal, but like for containers. <laughs> Right, but I have a. If I, if I did a, if this was like a plasma based thing, like Fedora 36 plasma, then I probably would do the fonts because that's I noticed that. Um, immutable file systems with plasma needs a little extra TLC when it comes to fonts. Destructive actions, interesting. Good, wipe it away. Second, so I want to. Open it, boom, and now I'm in my look at the dot var app Adam crew, and then here's my fake home environment, and it kind of just does like look as a sim link, I guess. But it's pretty cool. So I'm we'll close out of that. And console and disable this message. Okay, cool. So DNF. I'm not really familiar with Fedora, but um, I'm going to do um, DNF install K organizer. Now here's what I'm not crazy about. And we're talking about this in uh, with a someone at the OpenSUSE bar. There is a cons we looked at the back end a little bit on on GitLub, GitHub. Oh, I can't even talk. It's Friday night. GitHub or uh, GitLab, wherever this is hosted. And we did see that um, they're sourcing the Fedora container from Canonical. I guess Canonical does host some containers and it is hosting um, a Fedora container, toolbox, whatever. Um, so I think that was interesting. Like, why not just get it directly from source? But you notice here that couldn't resolve host name, mirror, and it looks like there is a s computer science club from University of Waterloo, California. Let's take a look. So go ahead, show the dev some love. That's pretty, you know, nice looking uh, app. Yeah. 
and uh, I forgot where it was located where we were looking at the sources of um, the sources of the uh, Anyway, pretty cool. And let's see, uh, University of Waterloo. There we go. So yeah, so it looks like this this guy's doing some work at the school, and maybe he's a, you know doing some cool stuff or maybe he's a professor I don't know cool oh cool he's uh, the creator of bottles I heard a lot of good things about bottles so yeah so that was only concern was that was like why is, why not just use official you know fedora stuff because um, you have to be we have to wonder you have to be um cognizant of like where the where you're sourcing this you know Depend if you're going to use it for like developer work you can't just trust where every, everything where it's going but so um now i want to go to the advanced now this is the really cool part ready for this bam distro box I can't oh, I can't enable it custom Adam pass custom that's that's good um, can't enable it I wonder because if it's flat pack it won't definitely have distro box on my system but uh, I hear that Distrobox and flat packs don't, uh, or you know, flat hub. Flat hub can't, doesn't rejects Distrobox as a flat pack because it tries to get out of its containerized file system uh, for obvious reasons. Um, that's kind of like how Distrobox works, it's the main benefit. Um, so I wonder if there's some type of just if I install a dev package or a whatever package it'll be fine I can be easier to do this but because this is a flat pack I wonder if it's just being locked out but anyway this is a lot of potential this is really cool this is pretty much like 70 80 percent what I was looking for I kind of want a distro box um, first user experience I don't want to have distro box as a second class citizen in the user experience I want to bring it forward on my version of what I'm thinking about my prototype I have in my head, but this is definitely an amazing start. So I'd be using this in the meantime until somebody does something cool with my idea, if it ever, which might not even happen. I might have to just make do with this because it's pretty awesome as this too. And it's going to hopefully get better just as time goes on, more developers get on board, more things get more popular. But um, yeah, already we see people kind of making distro boxes and container environments more user friendly uh, abstracting away some of the back end stuff for you and that is freaking awesome so here's bottles check that out too anyways have a great one guys catch you late